let's establish some baselines right from the very beginning. Soldier Field has always been a dump, is a dump, and will always be a dump. Pure dump. There's a reason you're going to bring up other alleged historical factors as to why the Bears waited until the 70s to move to Soldier Field as their full-time home, getting out of Wrigley Field. Like, fundamentally, why the hell would any organization ever turn down a venue that hosts has 30,000 plus more damn seats? Like, that should tell you something. And sure, there are historical factors at play, but that's because even all the way back then, senile-ass Papa Bear Hallis knew that Soldier Field was a shithole. It was a shithole in the 80s when the Bears were one of the preeminent franchises in the league with that shithole AstroTurf. It has always been a shithole. And just because a little less than 20 years ago an Anunnaki spaceship dropped down and took a huge dump, an intergalactic dump in the Roman Colosseum, doesn't make it any less of a dump. It's still a dump. It's going to continue to be a dump. So why would you continue to want to sink money into this sunken cost lost cause? Why would you want to do that? And of course, you see the recent proposal that's come from, what was it, Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot talking about, you know, wanting to keep the Bears in the city of Chicago and wanted to keep them there on the lakefront and not wanting them to potentially move to Arlington Heights. And you know, one of the proposals is putting a dome on Soldier Field. Well, ding dong, dumb dicks, that's what you should have done two fucking decades ago. All the revenue the city lost out on, the organization lost out on because they wouldn't pony up the dough for a fucking dome. And by they, I mean both the city and the taxpayers of Chicago. Whether that should have been their responsibility or not, maybe a different conversation. Fair enough. And then, of course, the cheap-ass, poverty mindset, McCaskey family. And I'm sure we're supposed to have overwhelming confidence that the same asshole that oversaw the last set of stadium negotiations that led to this shithole renovation, Ted Phillips, being in charge of the new stadium negotiations, I'm sure that's supposed to inspire all types of confidence. But anyways, apparently you've got a lot of Bears fans that are mad at the thought. A lot aren't, but a lot are. A lot of Bears fans are mad at the thought of the team living the city of Chicago and moving somewhere like Arlington Heights. How could they do that? They're the Chicago Bears. They're not the Arlington Heights Bears. I like them just where they are in the city of Chicago. Then you like to live in a fucking nostalgia world that isn't all that nostalgic, frankly. You like to be behind the times and you don't want to see this organization be as relevant as it possibly can be. Now, a new stadium guarantees absolutely nothing. But Soldier Field guarantees that this organization and that city continues to be second rate. What possible benefit could it have for the Bears at this point to dot sink more money into that shithole? It does not have all of the decades of propaganda that Wrigley Field does. It does not have all of that perceived history that Wrigley Field does. So when the Cubs organization, the Ricketts family, sunk all their money, whatever they had left, into Wrigley Field, you get it. Like there's a whole ambiance there of Waveland and Sheffield and Clark and Addison and all this other bullshit. It's Cubbyville. Ugh. You don't have any of that with Soldier Field. It's across from the frickin' aquarium, the Field Museum. Who cares? I mean, you just look at that stadium. It looks third rate. It really does look third rate. Beyond just the Anunnaki took an intergalactic dump in the Roman Colosseum and left their ship there. 
Like, it just looks Bush League. Like, the sight lines should be so much better. The skyline should be more visible. Like, the aesthetics are terrible. It looks like a fucking cookie-cutter stadium modern version. Frankly, put the damn retract... Not the retractable roof, but you put in the damn astroturf in there you'd think it was one of those cookie cutter stadiums like riverfront or three rivers for in veteran stadium from the 70s and 80s and 90s that's what the fuck it would look like it sucks and actually i'm with the bears on this one believe it or not fuck the city of chicago if you could get yourself a better deal and be able to have a better venue and you're actually going to follow through and you're actually going to put a retractable roof on your stadium like real fucking teams are supposed to do, if you're going to sit there and put that retractable roof on there so you could generate more revenue for yourself because you could host Final Fours, you could host WrestleManias, you could host big time events all, all of the seasons, like that's what smart people would fucking do. Now, of course, you're going to have some Bears fans that say, no doom, no doom, because all that year, all those years of Bears weather and Bears football has really panned out, right? You realize how obtuse you sound? Well, I want them to play in the fucking elements in the cold. I don't like the thought. Man, I don't give a fuck if it was 110 degrees. In Chicago all fall long. I might a little bit because that means that climate change really fucking took off in a big way. But I don't give a fuck if they play in 50 below or 150 above. Why does that matter? Who gives a shit? I want to see winning football. I want to see championship level football. The weather conditions have nothing, and I want to repeat, have absolutely nothing to do with it. Because if they did, then why aren't the Bears consistent contenders? Do you see how idiotic and backward thinking that fucking is? Now, if the Bears go into this Arlington Heights thing, and they end up eventually doing this, and they don't put a retractable roof on that stadium, then you know what? They deserve to suck forever in a day. Because they clearly haven't learned any lessons. They don't fucking get it. They need to stop being cheap. And stop looking to Chicago or Arlington Heights. Like, why the hell would you want to share in that? Why wouldn't you just want to do it your damn self? Like, it's such a poverty franchise mindset for the Bears. It really, truly is. They have the money. They just don't want to spend it because they're fucking tight. They're fucking cheap. They always have it. To which some of you are going to say... Well, look at what they spend on their players. Well, that's a pittance in the overall scheme of things. Hey, no, they don't give a shit. They're going to spend what they spend there, but it's in all the other places that makes an organization a champion that the Bears are traditionally, historically, one of the cheapest fucking ones around. That's why they continue to sit with Ted Phillips as their team president, because he helped the McCaskies out of an IRS pickle 30 years ago. It has nothing to do with football. It has everything to do with that type of loyalty because of how he saved their fucking financial asses. Period. Period. That's why a bean counter has been allowed to be the team president for over two goddamn decades, even with all the horrendous results that you've seen. That's what it is. Gives a fuck about bear weather and bears football. Like, who cares? I don't want to see a dome. Who gives a shit? What's your problem? Get over yourself. I want to see the Bears play in a modern state-of-the-art stadium that you can be proud of for the next 20 to 30 years. You could never be proud of Soldier Field because it's always been a shithole. So for those of you that want them to figure it out and do something with Soldier Field, the amount of work that would be required to put Soldier Field up to code, you're basically creating a whole new stadium again, and you can't do an Anaki double dump and put a fucking spaceship inside of a spaceship inside of the fucking Roman Coliseum. You can't do that. No. Arlington Heights is the better deal. Then that's where they need to fucking go. To hell with your thought about, well, they have to play within the city limits of Chicago. That's stupid. And you're stupid. And yes, you deserve to be talked to like that. You really do. Now, tear that piece of shit down. Build a new modern stadium in a place that makes more sense like Arlington Heights. Just fucking do it already.